hi there welcome to this space on the internet my name is Ezine, but of course you can call me sugar i am an abuja youtuber based right here in the capital city of nigeria if this is your first time of seeing this pretty beautiful face on this space then please do not make it your last hit the subscribe button always give our videos a thumbs up please always share out our videos and of course very importantly always leave a comment in the comment section below it helps us get interactive now in today's video i bring to you the review of the kojisan soap and i know that is exactly why you clicked into this video to watch it so we're going to head straight into that video now if you're watching this video from outside nigeria please let me know in the comment section below identify your location let me know where you're watching me from so but right now in the beauty market here in nigeria kojisan soap is one of the most budget friendly bleaching soaps okay that is available in the market if you really want to whiten your skin like really really whiten your skin to go from you know a particular shade to four five six shades lighter then kajitan soap is just the right soap for you to use now one of the most intriguing things that you need to know about the kajitan soap is that it was actually discovered in a japanese factory yes it was discovered in japan in the process of producing wine and it was actually formulated from mushrooms so you might be wondering oh anytime you use kajitan you're actually using mushroom on your face it's actually very interesting to see that you know while they were processing wine they discovered that something like this could happen there was a lightening agent you know that brightened persons and they decided to look for ways to make it into a soap that we can use and somehow somehow it worked out and that is how kajitan soap came to be now a lot of people have been swung by kajitan soap this is because it contains not just active whitening ingredients but it also contains ingredients that helps to reduce you know your dark spots of course you know hyperpigmentation acne and some other skin imperfections that you might have especially also if you're suffering from tan as a result of sunburn you know from spending too much time under the sun so what this means is that for those of you who have been struggling with hyperpigmentation and maybe you cannot afford to go you know for very extensive okay and comprehensive you know treatment you know maybe because of the cost or maybe where you are located then you can actually use the kojitan soap it is going to help lighten and brighten your hyperpigmentation and reduce the appearance of those hyperpigmentations on your skin now one very beautiful thing that i like about this soap as well which is a holy grail on this channel if you are an og on this channel watching this video like this is not your first time of watching any of my reviews of soaps or creams let me know in the comment section below tell me what our holy grail is yes 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 before i say it <laughs> now the kajisan soap can be used on both the face and the body remember that i always say on this channel for you who is just watching me for the first time that most of the times we're always keen on reviewing not just products that you can use on your body but those that will also work well for your face and for you to be able to achieve the results you intend to achieve so if you're someone who's just beginning your skincare journey and you really have been asking questions about the soaps and creams that are currently in the market then this channel is one channel you want to stay glued to because this is going to help guide you and also help influence your buying decisions as to which of these products to go for and which one actually works best for you and that is why it is also important that you pay attention to the things i say in any of these review videos because it helps you decide what you actually want and what you don't want and then you can now decide if you want to go with a particular product that we have reviewed in any of our videos now aside from the fact that this soap can be used on the face and body it always comes in a light orange color that has a mild citrus scent so if what you've gotten has a very heavy smell then what you have is probably a fake kajisan soap i am actually going to be dedicating another video entirely to share with you the different ways that you can actually differentiate between the fake and the original kajisan soap in the market so that you do not end up buying fake and hurting your skin or damaging your skin in the course of trying to do good and all of that good stuff okay now there is something very interesting that you also do not know okay now about two to three and four videos ago i've been sharing you know different natural ways that you can lighten different parts of your body like your inner thighs those parts of your body that are usually darker than usual and usually doesn't you know respond to you know some soaps or creams and some other things that you try to use to lighten those dark areas like i said your dark inner thighs your elbow your knees your armpits this particular soap can actually be used if you do not mind adverse effects in the long term or if you're going to be you know at least keen and you know careful on how you actually use it to achieve this aim you can actually use the kajisan soap to lighten your dark armpits you can use it to lighten your dark elbows okay yes you can 
now as high as the lightening and whitening active ingredients that this particular soap contains there are other natural and healthy ingredients that this soap contains that helps to take care of other skin imperfections and effects that you might be having and i'm going to be stating them specifically for you just about three or four of them i'm going to be stating them for you and telling you why they were actually put in the kojusan soap the very first healthy ingredient that this particular soap contains of course is the coconut oil and now what the coconut oil does is that it helps to keep your skin moisturized now another healthy ingredient that this particular soap contains is the tea tree oil which contains anti-inflammatory properties that helps to combat oil on your skin itchiness and dry skin so this means that if you have oily skin and you use the kojusan soap it is going to help to reduce you know the production of excess oil on your face and it's also going to help relieve itchiness and dry skin if you are already suffering from dry skin Another healthy ingredient that this soap contains is the glycerin, which is an animal fat that keeps your skin moisturized. And of course, the almighty ingredient on the kojusan soap, I mean, no kojusan soap can be complete without this particular ingredient. And that is the kojic acid. Now, the work of the kojic acid is to prevent the formation of tyrosine in your skin. Now, tyrosine is the amino acid in your skin that helps to produce melanin and to also enhance the production of melanin in your skin so when you apply kojic acid to your skin what it does is that it actually prevents this particular amino acid from reducing melanin and thereby making your skin lighter and brighter and smoother so a few key things before i bring this video to an end today the first thing is that this soap actually works very fast so if you are looking to lighten or whiten your skin within 7 to 14 days then the kojusan soap is the perfect choice for you to go for and of course yes it is also an exfoliating agent so you can choose not to use it as your everyday soap okay you can use it as an exfoliating soap that you use twice a week or three times a week depending on the sensitivity of your skin and also very importantly saying that this soap contains natural ingredient does not mean that it does not have effect it is going to have effect okay long-term effect in the long run if you use it too much i mean even the bible says that everything needs to be done in moderation okay so you don't want to use it excessively but note that in the nearest future if you continue to use it consistently there might be damages that this might do to your skin because it can weaken your epidermis and other layers of your skin now one other key thing that you need to take note of when you're putting this into consideration is that aside from the fact that it is a whitening agent just like hydroquinone it is not as damaging as hydroquinone okay it is not as damaging as hydroquinone but of course is it going to be a little damage let's let's wait on a scale of one to ten if hydroquinone is going to harm your skin on a scale of 10 over 10 or let me say on a scale of 9 over 10 then this one is probably going to do you know maybe a damage of let's say maybe 4 over 10 or 3 over 10 and that is if you use it excessively if you use it in the wrong way over a long period of time now how do you use this soap on your face if you want to use it to take care of any skin imperfection that you might have on your face and to prevent it from actually irritating your skin further all you need to do is just to lather the soap in your hand use that lather to massage your face for like one or two minutes and then you rinse off immediately now the only side effect that this particular soap has that a lot of persons have complained about even while i was making my research it was one of the most predominant issues that a lot of people used to have or had is the fact that this soap is going to dry out your skin yes if you are not already suffering from dry skin excessive use of the keyword excessive use excessive use of the kojusan soap is going to dry out your skin but what this means is that as soon as you're done using the kojusan soap and you come out of the bathroom you want to immediately while your body is still moist go in with your lotion or your body cream or your moisturizer immediately in order to come back and to fight that and if you are able to moisturize very well then you are good to go you have no fear of dry skin so if you have been having dry skin from using the kojusan soap then it means you need to invest in better moisturizers that are going to help to keep your skin hydrated and that brings me to the end of this video <laughs> thank you for watching this video till the end did you find it helpful please let me know in the comment section below are there other soaps or other creams that you would like us to review or tell you the difference between the fake and the original let me know in the comment section below and i will be bringing it on to you right here on this channel simply sugar till i come your way next time in my very next pretty video this is simply sugar Signing out. Ciao. <laughs>